Good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're viewing this broadcast, Carkey Global Cape Ministries. I am Brother Carl E. Williams, Dr. Kiki Michelle St. Jerry Williams. We'll be bringing you the message today. Happy holidays to everyone. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, all that good Hanukkah. Yes, we hope you are going to enjoy 2021 coming in. Be safe out there. Bless someone, love on someone, check on your loved ones, see if they're okay during the season. You know, a lot of people are depressed right now this time because of the holiday season, but God is a healer and is your helpmate. Just call on him, believe in God, all things are possible. If only you believe, trust in the word, he'll bring you through. Stay prayed up. We love you today. We honor and give all glory to God for what he has done. We had an awesome toy drive. And he fed so many families for the holiday season. We are just thankful and blessed to be a blessing to, to others. Stay tuned. Coming up, Dr. Kiki Michelle St. Terry Williams will be bringing you the message. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Yeah, angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Jesus is that God we serve. Jesus is the God. We serve, yeah. angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him, what a mighty God we serve. Praise God, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We are so excited about what God is doing. Welcome to Carkey Global Ministries. It is a pleasure to be with you week in and week out. We thank God for what he is doing in this time. This is, hallelujah, the Sunday before Christmas in 2020, and we just thank God for him coming and giving of himself, hallelujah. We thank God, hallelujah, for sacrificing himself so that we could have the right to the tree of life. So we thank God for all that he's doing for us. We appreciate him for waking us up, starting us on our way. We thank God for just protecting and keeping us. We thank God for all blessings, great and small. And we just appreciate him for working with us and, and leading us and guiding us and showing us the way. I would like to say a happy, happy birthday to Emmanuel Ari 14. God is so good. Y'all give him a hand. Give him a hand. Yes, God is so good to let him to see 14 years of age. You are going to hear testimony from him in just a moment. But we thank God. And see, it pays to be obedient to authority. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 6 tells us children obey your parents. You can't be mouthing off and sucking your teeth and talking back and slamming doors and leaving and staying gone. You've got to honor your parents. He said, when you honor your parents, I'll bless you in a long life. Hallelujah. So we thank God for Emmanuel's 14 years today. May God continue to flourish you year after year and day after day. At this time, we're going to go before the throne of glory. Hallelujah. We want God to have mercy on us today. And if there is any sick among us, hallelujah, I want you to declare and decree, I am healed, hallelujah. If there's anyone among us, under the sound of my voice, hallelujah, might have an ache and a pain here, a cold congestion and everything else, I want you to decree and declare that I am healed, hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for blessing us to see another day. Hallelujah, God. We thank you for breathing in our nostrils 
and letting us wake up. Hallelujah. God, we appreciate you. Hallelujah. And we magnify your name for every blessing you bestowed upon us, God. We love you today, God. We thank you, hallelujah, because we truly believe we are living only because of your mercy and your grace. Hallelujah. God, we're asking that you continue to reign on your people. Hallelujah. We're asking that you continue to make ways out of no ways. We're asking that you continue to show yourself mighty. Fight battles. Hallelujah. Make ways out of no ways. Hallelujah. Clear up things. Hallelujah. Thank God for those that are homeless, Father God. Let them be sheltered. Those that are hungry, Lord, let them have food. Hallelujah. Those who are grieving, let them know peace. Hallelujah. God, we'll be so careful to give you the honor and the glory for what you've already done for us. Hallelujah. And we ask these blessings today in Jesus' name. It is in your name, hallelujah, Father God, that we pray. Amen, amen, amen. At this time, we're going to ask um, Brother Ari, if you'll come on up and give a testimony of his choice. Directly after him, we'll have Brother D'Angelo come up and give a testimony of his choice. Let's greet them by saying amen. Amen. Good morning. Uh, I would like to thank God for another year. I'm turning 14 today. Um, yeah, I just like to thank him for getting me through 2020. Let me see another birthday. There's a lot of people that see that next birthday. Or they didn't know it was the last birthday. So I thank God for keeping me safe and keeping me alive on the 2020. Thank you. Amen. Good morning. Um, thank God for, I thank God for waking me up this morning, showing me on my way. Um, he blessed me a lot this year. I've been through a lot of stuff. Got me cured from diseases and any coldness. Um, got me a job, got money in my pockets. Thank you. Amen, amen. We thank God for the testimonies because he said we overcome by our testimonies. We thank God, hallelujah. We thank God for those young men with the mind to want to give God the thanks and the praise. Those children are doing mighty good things, and I'm not just saying it because they are connected to me. I'm saying it because it's the truth, and we just thank God, and we bless God for um, all of his blessings, and we're just asking God to continue to cover all of our children. Um, in these times, cover, keep, protect, save, deliver, hallelujah. And I won't be with you long. We wanna just uh, thank everyone who's been tuning in and sharing and um, just enjoying the, the broadcast and um, being blessed, recording of being delivered and how God is working miracles in their lives and. And I, you know, I just, I just want to thank God because He ordained it to be so. Hallelujah! He ordained it to be so. Hallelujah! And we just thank God for allowing us to walk in obedience. God said, "I will be with you. Just, just do what I say. Do." Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, God. So if you would join me, Acts chapter 8 and verse 4. Acts chapter 8 and verse 4. They for they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. Therefore, they that were scattered abroad went everywhere preaching the word. And today, I want to uh, share for a couple of moments, dispersed, dispersed. Uh, we are living in a special time, okay? Uh, depending upon who you talk to, they live in their best life. Things have never been greater. Others 
They are struggling. And um, it's a time uh, many of us have not seen before, whether it's all good for you or, or not so good. Uh, this is new to many of us. Uh, the seasons even have begun to fluctuate like never before, okay? Uh, it is a time of wars and rumors of wars. Uh, it is a time of nation against nation. It is a season of pestilence and judgment. Uh, we are witnessing certain passages of scriptures being fulfilled right before our eyes. The others are against children. And children are against mothers, hallelujah. And churches have become divided. Jobs are scarce. I could go on, but God says the end is not yet. See, we've got to also be able to tell the good news. God said the end is not yet. That's right. Regardless of how bad it looks, the end is not yet. Hallelujah, that's praiseworthy. Because some people are trying to turn around here and predict the world is getting ready to end. Uh, they even put a date on it, uh, December it is. Or, and they, they, see, the, my Bible tells me eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard uh, what God has in store for us. Hallelujah. So I, I know that with that, I don't know everything that God is saying. And my Bible also tells me, hallelujah, that no man knows the day or the hour <laughs> that he shall return for us. So, uh, you know, we've, we've got to make sure that we have our listening ears peeled to the word of God. That's what's mad. Hallelujah. Uh, the master planner of the universe had everything we are witnessing in his plan. Hallelujah. Your predicament that you're in right now, that is a part of the divine plan. Uh, some of us would still be sitting in place, failing to function if 2020 would not have been halted around the globe. Hallelujah. Uh, we were comfortable. We, we were afraid. Uh, we didn't know where to start. We had excuse after excuse. And I don't know about you, but uh, there's so many men and women of God who, who have actually taken up their cross and decided to go ahead and live for God. It's all over social media. Hallelujah. It's all over uh, any of those social media platforms. And all I can say is, man, God, God bless you. Woman of God, God bless you. See, we don't know what God is doing in this season. Several giants have fallen. And meanwhile, God is, is exalting and raising up people who were glued to the pews. My God. So tell yourself it just got better. Tell yourself and say it like you mean it, it just got better. The mere fact that you can hear my voice today, uh, you are proof that it just got better. My God, hallelujah. Uh, see, because loneliness can invite in negative thoughts. We, we're supposed to be quarantined. You're supposed to be at home unless you're doing uh, uh, necessary things, hallelujah. But in this time, isolation can invite more moments of uncertainty. Hallelujah. But please hear me. God's plan included your loneliness and isolation. If he had never allowed you to be in this place, his divine will would have never been done in your life. Hallelujah. See, God has effectively because he don't have to do nothing. He has effectively dispersed the church. We are no longer in our silos of refusing to love our brothers and sisters who are in a different denomination. The last time I checked, God was calling for a church. Hallelujah. 
He, he wasn't concerned about denominations and we don't talk to them because they don't believe like us or they don't worship like us or, or we don't just speak to them. But God said, I'm coming for a church without spot or wrinkle. Hallelujah. We are no longer tied down to a pew and a ritual. Hallelujah. God has shut things down that traditionally divided us and has scattered the church. People say, oh, the church is empty. Oh, where's your faith? Oh, y'all can go everywhere else. Why you ain't going to church? The church has been scattered. But let me tell you, with the scattering, it's a strategic placement. Hallelujah. Don't judge somebody because you haven't seen them all year in church. Hallelujah. They might be the reason why you're being healed. Their prayers might be the reason that fire skipped your location. Hallelujah. Their prayers of the righteous availed much. So I learned not to judge a person. Hallelujah. Because my Bible says the way that I judge others is the way I'll be judged. Hallelujah. And, and so uh, the will of the Father who is in heaven shall be done. Hallelujah. And he expects us to preach the gospel of Jesus. What are you preaching? Hallelujah. What are you talking about? Hallelujah. If you're not giving God the glory, why are we doing it? Hallelujah. Is it just for to raise another offering? Hallelujah. Is it just to go to just to be seen? God said, I've dispersed you in this season. Men and women of God, he's dispersed you in this season to preach the gospel of Jesus. I don't care where you are, he has dispersed you to preach the gospel of Jesus. Every nation, every person, every community, every religion, everybody must know that there is a Jesus and he's coming back without a spot or a wrinkle, hallelujah, and that right early, hallelujah. Uh, we ought to go into the byways and the highways. And compel men and women to come to Jesus. They're not coming to you. They're not coming to me. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be drawing men and women to Jesus. You may be at the lowest part of your life right now. I know it hurt. I know you don't understand. I know. But I guarantee you, if you will sing a song of praise, if you will posture your heart towards worship, if you will submit your ways to holiness, you will see an automatic breakthrough. I know they hung up on you and told you there's nothing they can do. I know you can't get a return email. I know, but God is saying, in this time that you're feeling displaced and lonely and isolated, if you will give me a praise, I'm going to turn it around. Hallelujah. And see, we've got to understand that what we're going through is temporary. What you are going on and what's going on in your life has been given an expiration date. See, when the enemy comes in like a flood, and he'll flood your mind, and he'll flood your environment, and he'll flood the people around you to attack you, we've got to understand that that has been given an expiration date. Hallelujah. God, what am I learning while I'm waiting? What am I supposed to get out of this, Lord? I don't want to keep repeating the same cycle. Lord, help me to pass this test. Hallelujah. Uh, God will command change. And that suddenly, hallelujah, a suddenly change, hallelujah. Uh, the church has been dispersed to preach the word, hallelujah. If you preach by praise dancing, God says, preach the word, hallelujah. If you preach by praying, God says, preach the word. If you preach by singing, God says, preach the word. Whatever you've been called to do, you've been commissioned to do the will of our Father. Hallelujah. No turning back. No more excuses. Give God all you've got. Hallelujah. Some people 
were living for the world and living for the enemy and, 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 and shutting the club down and dancing all night and doing this and doing that and giving it all to God. God is saying, hallelujah, change dance partners, hallelujah. Come on in before the sun go down. And give it all you got. See, we got to stop giving God 10% of our effort. Hallelujah. We already know Malachi 3 tells us to give 10% of our tithes. Hallelujah. And so some of us feel like long as we give 10% of our tithes, we can tip God with our praise and worship. But see, God is asking us to give 100% of our, our efforts. Hallelujah. Give him 100%. Yes, pay your tithes. But give him more of your effort. Hallelujah. And see, the church has been dispersed. Hallelujah. The church house got too small for the miracles that God is trying to perform. Hallelujah. The church got too bureaucratic to allow God's spirit to flow. Hallelujah. We become too ritualized. Oh, we don't do that here. Oh, we don't do that here. We become too a schedule prone, hallelujah, to let God have his way. Uh, so you've been dispersed, hallelujah. Dispersed. Get busy, hallelujah. Use what you have. God will multiply your efforts. Just get busy, hallelujah. We've got to give God something to bless. If we sit here with excuses and never get busy, we're going to be in the same stagnant place. You've got to move forward with what you have and let God build it and multiply it for you. Hallelujah. Wherever you find your feet, hallelujah, preach the word. Wherever you go every day, hallelujah, preach the word. Every phone call you get, preach the word. Mention the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mention there's a savior concerned about your soul. Mention you must be born again. Everywhere you go, every interaction you have, preach the word of God. Hallelujah. No more excuses. No more compromise. No more putting up and putting down. No more playing it small. God said, I gave you a platform to lift my name up. Hallelujah. Give God a praise, hallelujah. Give him the honor and glory that's due. With your life, with your actions, preach the word. You've been dispersed, hallelujah. And if anybody needs to know God in the pardon of your sins, you don't know God, hallelujah. You feel you drifted so far away. You have to know that we have a great big God who despite anything else, is concerned about you. Hallelujah. And so we're going to ask if anyone wants prayer, you're welcome to come. Hallelujah. If you are listening to me and under the sound of my voice, hallelujah, regardless of your physical location, and you have not been baptized and born again, according to Acts 2.38, and baptized in Jesus' name, you must be born again. Hallelujah. So reach out to us. So we can tell you how we can assist you to get your sins washed away. Hallelujah. Because God said, I'm coming back. Hallelujah. But before I return, I need you to be ready. I need you to alert the world. I need you to let people know that God loves them and he's concerned about them. I need you to let people know that God said, I don't want to see you lost. I love you. People might have thrown you away, but God said, I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. Hallelujah. So God said, I'm with you. Preach the word. When they reject you, preach the word. When it's a good season, preach the word. When it's a bad season, preach the word. Hallelujah. When he's blessing you, preach the word. When it sounds feel like he don't hear you, preach the word. Hallelujah. God said, I am in charge, and I know what it is I'm doing. So we'd like to thank you so much for tuning in to Car Key Global. We want you to have a blessed and prosperous holiday 
Remember, it's not your birthday. Hallelujah. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And so if you don't give the gift that you think that you should have gotten, understand it ain't your birthday no how. Hallelujah. And God said it's more blessed to give than it is. And so we're asking that you continue to lift your brothers and sisters to pray. You continue to let God have his way in you continue to understand that God called you to appreciate your love. God bless you. Appreciate your being on our food drop. Hallelujah. From you. See, I've learned not to let you drop. I've learned. They may not I will care. say